Hi, my name is Jessica McCall and this is my video of the skull areas. So let's begin here. Right here, these lines, these are cranial sutures. This area is the frontal bone. These little marks, you can't really see them, but there's two little divots right here and right here. And those are the supraorbital foramen. These little areas right here and right here are the sapnoid bones. Right here, these little white dots inside the eyes, that is the optic foramen or canal, and that's the area where the optic nerve goes. And then these bones all inside the nasal area, this one, this one, this one, and they're up here. Those are the ethmoid bones. And this and this area, those are the orbital fissures. This bone right in here, that's the lacrimal bone. And there's a little divot right in here and you can kind of see that's the lacrimal foramen. This area is the nasal bone. This area is the maxilla. And this little line right here that is the, <clears throat> the perpendicular plate and where are we? Middle. These bigger bones right here and right here are the middle nasal conchs. These larger ones below it are the inferior nasal conch. Plates right here and over here is the zygmatic bone and then this bone down here is the mandible. Oh, and the middle nasal and the inferior nasal are part of the ethmoid bone. So they're all connected in here. You just can't see it because it's behind this nasal bone. Okay, we'll go to a different view. This is the lateral view. And on this picture, we'll be looking at, what do we do first? This area here is the temporal bone. And then this right here is the zygmatic bone. And this area right here is a zygmatic arch. This little black area here is the external acoustic meatus. And right here, this little thing that's coming down here, 
is the styloid process. This area that comes down from the temporal lobe, that would be the mastoid process. This huge area here, can't really see it too well. That, there's that lines right around there. That's the parietal bone. Ouch. These lines are the cranial sutures and this back area right here that's the occipital bone the little divot here is the external occipital perturbance this bone right here this darker bone that's the cephnoid bone down here, again, is the mandible. This front area on the mandible here that goes up, that would be the coronoid process. And this part, the back part of the mandible here, is the mandibular condyle. And that's the lateral view. Now we'll do the inferior view. These little black dots right here and right here are the greater palatine foramen. And greater palatine foramen and this bone right in here and right over here are the zygmatic bone and then this of course all the way here and all the way there are the zygmatic arch and this teardrop shape that's a vulmer this area here and this area here will be the maxilla. This little area here is a palatine bone. And this part of it here is the palatine process. And that is also part of the maxilla bone. And where are we? Where? This area here is the incisive foramen, and right here, and right here, that's the cephnoid bone. This circle area and this circle area are the mandibular fossa. And this area, and where are we? Yep, right here. And right here is the mastoid process. And where are we? This area, this area are part of the occipital condyle and the foramen magnum, and all of these areas are inside the occipital bone. This is the occipital bone all right here. Oops. All around here. And then this area here, and this area here is the temporal bone. These spots here are the jugular foramen that the jugular vein would run through. And then these inner ones here are the carotid can canal canals 
where the carotid artery would run through. Okay. And now the superior view. This is the cranial view. These two little black areas, the two little dots, right there and right there, are the internal acoustic matus. This whole bone back here is the occipital bone, the foramen magnum, which the spinal cord runs through. I think I forgot to say that on the other view. Foramen magnum has the spinal cord. Uh, the jugular foramen, which once again, the jugular vein runs through. And where are we? Cephanoid bone. This area over here up here and up here is the cephnoid bone. This area in the middle is the cella trachea. Oh, right here. Looks like a saddle. This area is also considered the greater wing. And then this right here and this right here is the lesser wing. And those both are inside the cephnoid bone. <coughs> and this area all up here, right in here and right here, those are the optic foramen. That's where the optic nerve would go through. Where were we? This area here is the ethmoid bone. Along inside of it is the crystal galley. And this is the cerebrum, cerebriform plate. And those are all inside the ethmoid bone. Right along here is the ethnoid foramen, no, the olfactory foramen. And then over here, this larger area is the temporal bone. And this, of course, is the frontal bone. And that's it. Those are all of the views for the skull. Thank you very much.